Hello, Basil. What are you doing? Are you just chilling and I've come to bother you? Yeah. Well, we're going to teach you how to use the toilet, aren't we? And you're going to love every moment of it. So we are currently at the red stage and he's quite a scaredy cat. He literally lives up to the name of being a scaredy cat. So we are doing him even gentler than the DVD says. So we are having this as stage one. So we're putting the red stage in his existing litter box with his existing litter. Now this litter you can't flush down the toilet. So um, this stage is what we're doing first and then we're going to change the litter to the stuff which you can get in the toilet in case he like scrapes it in there and stuff. So he, we're gonna see if he uses this. Hopefully he does. I, as you can see, it's clean. Um, he's probably crossing his legs because it's been a while. <laughs> but um, hopefully he'll go in here and then, um, yes, we'll go from there. Well, he has successfully splashed down. So, um, hmm. the next step is get rid of this and replace it with the actual litter quitter. So, let's see how that goes down. The big day has arrived. Basil is being upgraded to this, the toilet seat part of the training. Let's put this litter liner down as well, um, just in case he has any accidents and misses. So, stick into his same litter. And uh, hopefully, he will go in here and he won't leave us any nice surprises around the house. It's a big day, Basil. How are you feeling? You feeling confident? Yeah? You think things are going to go well? I'm quite confident that you're going to be a, a good lad. You're going to get... You're going to... Oh, you're going to run away. You're going to run away, aren't you? You're going to sit there? You just, you keep showing me up, Basil. What's that all about? Hmm? Stop showing me up. Okay, here's a warning for everybody watching. You're about to see poop. It's cat poop, it's not, you know, one of mine. Uh, the bad news with the, uh, the litter quitter is it does mean there's a little bit of mess. And it also does mean we get um, a lot of poo. That is a human sized poo. <laughs> And it's very smelly, but um, I guess mine would be really smelly as well if uh, all I ate was like pouches of meat and jelly. But um, there we go. Amazed, he's actually got it in the centre. So um, there we go. We've got another sort of week, two weeks of this stage, and then he'll be upgraded. But um, for a while, we'll just see how he gets on with this. There's been a slight upgrade in the type of litter. Now, uh, this stuff, if it does accidentally go in there, it can be flushed, so it's not the end of the world. It kind of poofs up a little bit when it gets wet. So, um, yes, this is the last step until he makes his journey onto the bowl itself. So, um, yeah, we'll see how he gets on with this stuff, and then uh, we'll consider moving him up. Well, it seems like a certain little pussycat is not afraid to use the uh, the new litter, so that's good. The next stage is to uh, to upgrade him. So we'll let him get used to this, just in a few more days, and then uh, we'll put him up there. So we'll see. And uh, there's a poo in, in there somewhere, and it absolutely honks. And um, I'm going to be sick. Basil's getting upgraded to the big boy toilet tonight. So um, hopefully he... Uh, he will use that. So, yes, it's been moved up. It kind of is a little bit, I don't know, if he jumps off severely, it might sort of move around a little bit. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem for him. We do have a stool here um, where his litter box used to be. So, yes, um, we've kind of tried to tape it down a little bit just to stop the movement. Um, but, yes, we're going to see how he gets on and hopefully he will uh, take to it because, I mean, he'll be looking for his litter tray there, so hopefully he'll just jump up and um, do his thing. So, let's see. Because it would be weird for me to stand here filming the entire thing, and it would probably put him off, I've um, got one of these, a motion sensor camera. So we'll, um, we'll leave this here, just pointing at the loo, and uh, we'll see if it can pick him up, uh, trying to use it. 
through the course of the night. So um, fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Hello Basil, did somebody have an accident last night? Mm. Did you um, did you decide that you didn't like the thought of, yes, you're embarrassed aren't you, that's why, that's why you've gone away, come here. Did you not like, no he didn't, he didn't, um, well he did poop, I'm going to chase you around the house now am I? Hmm? What's up? He actually, um, he actually did a poop right there, didn't you? He did, um, yeah, he did a nice, stinky, human-sized poop right, um, right there. But <laughs> we decided not to show you that one because, yes, um, it was just a huge turd on the carpet. What's the matter? Hmm? Come here. Come here. He's, um, yeah, he's not really taken to it, as, um, as you can see. From the footage, he was kind of looking around, looking for the litter tray. Um, at one point, yes, he did kind of sniff it, but didn't feel inclined to jump up. So, did uh, a bit of research, and it's a case of maybe introducing it higher, a little bit slower at a time. So, hmm, decided to make things more difficult, didn't you, Basil? Hey, are you ignoring me now? Yeah. So, time to take a slight step back. So, I've got a couple of uh, books and I'm uh, going to raise it gently so then um, it'll be sort of a step at a time till finally we can shove him back up there. So, yeah, I mean, um, he's very skittish as you've seen. So, if it takes a few more baby steps to encourage him to get up there, then fine. So, let's stick with it and see how he gets on with this. Well, after some uh, gentle encouragement in the very early hours of the morning, Basil is slowly starting to uh, to get that this is his litter tray now. For some reason, he sort of cries and cries and um, sort of jumps on the bed and jumps on my chest and is just a general nu nuisance until you sort of pick him up and plod him right there and then he will um, kind of come back and use it a couple of minutes later, which is really weird. It's like he almost forgets it's there or that it's, um, yeah, it's, it's slightly different in some way and it offends him somehow. It's, I mean, it's fairly sturdy, so it's nothing to do with it rocking about or anything like that, but I'm gonna keep this up for a few more days, then we'll, um, we'll raise it up with a few more books. So I guess that's where you're gonna see it in a, just a couple of seconds. Well, as you can see from the footage, Basil seems to have taken to the litter quitter being raised up on some books. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him one more go at being uh, upgraded. So we'll put that up there tonight. We'll see how he gets on. We're going to we're going to ram it down his throat that it's there basically. We're going to pick him up and put him on there at least a few times before we go to bed tonight. And then um, we're going to sort of, if he cries in the night, we're going to get up and we're going to stick him on there as well. Just so he really, really knows that it's there. So we'll do that now and then we'll, uh, we'll cross our fingers and hope that Basil doesn't cross his legs. Grace has had a very persistent morning this morning, putting him up on the toilet, watching him run away, putting him on the toilet again, running away again. But and I'm having to breathe through my mouth my mouth for this. <laughs> we have a success. He actually used the bloody thing on his own. He climbed up and he used it on his own. There was a slight accident, very, very slight, but he's pooped on the litter quitter. Thank God he's finally 
figured out. <laughs> I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> He's finally figured out. That is a strong smelling poo. He has been holding that in for a while. But hopefully now that he realises it's there and he realises what it's for, he will use it consistently. And uh, hopefully as well, a few less accidents. Someone's been a very clever boy for the past two weeks, haven't they? Someone has been pooping very regularly on the toilet, as you can see by this nice footage of a cat going to the toilet like a big boy. Isn't that right? Aren't you bloody clever? So for us, the main battle was going to be getting Basil actually to jump on the toilet, and then eventually he did. So that's very, very good. So now uh, the next thing is changing stages. So um, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Look at him, he's even a bit nervous about the thought of it. But we're going to change the interior attachment thing. You'll be okay. It's not going to be too scary. And um, hopefully he'll then be able to poop through the hole and directly into the water. So let's see how that goes. So here we go. The orange attachment. As you can see, it has a hole in the middle so the poo can go right through there. I have put a bit of uh, toilet roll in there just in case he does manage to get it through the hole. And uh, there's a bit of splash back which would then frighten him forever and he would never go anywhere near it ever again. So, here it is. We're going to... Um, hope that he sort of doesn't get freaked out by the change. We've got the trusty camera set up to catch the action, so we'll see. Uh, fairly confident, now that he's mastered actually jumping up, hopefully this isn't too much of a huge change for him, so we'll see. But um, fingers crossed. Hmm, the next few days are going to be interesting. Well, woken up this morning and there's a bit of a pooey smell in the house. And as you can see from this video, he did jump up and he did scratch around and he did sort of investigate, but then he did poop on the doormat. So, that smells, and it's huge. It's bigger than one of mine. It's really gross. But, um, yeah, so we're going to have to look into this because for some reason he doesn't like the new attachment, so, oh dear. Come on now, Basil. Don't be embarrassed. It's all right, we'll figure something out for you, mate. Here you go on. No, you're not having any more breakfast. You've had loads. So this is the solution that I've kind of read on some forums, is a bit of extra uh, cardboard under here and make the hole sort of even slowly bigger. So uh, this is what we'll go for for now. So essentially, you just put more of these on here. And then um, hopefully he'll use this. I mean, it's not going to support his weight, but... That's not the in, uh, intention, it's to try and get him to actually use this with this hole getting increasingly bigger. So, fingers crossed, we'll leave him uh, to his devices today, and hopefully he will pee and poo for England. Right there. Yes! After much, much encouragement, he has finally gone and used the orange one. Um, it's a little, been a little bit messy, but we're going to forgive him for that, because he's taken a big step today. There was a lot of carrying on, a lot of him kind of mowing and crying and not being very happy, but he's done well. He's got it. He's there. So now hopefully we'll leave it like this a few days and uh, then gradually make the hole bigger. So well done to Basil and I'm um, going to go and give him lots and lots of ham now as treats. What have you done? Hmm? Look at that guilty look on your face. Because what have you done, Basil? What have you done? You've peed in the shoes, haven't you? You've peed in the shoes. You can see there's a slight wet patch there. And here is the evidence, because he looked like he wanted to go down here, and he did. So because of this, uh, we've taken the, the decision to sort of step back a little bit and go back to the red stage, which is a little bit annoying because he did get the orange stage, but yes, this is where we are now, so um, it's kind of like starting a little bit from scratch annoyingly, but there we go. Well, he has no problem using the red one with his human-sized poop. Good God, that's bigger than one of mine. Oh, it stinks. Well, mister, 
what are we going to do with you, eh? So uh, we have tried the orange stage uh, a few times, and each and every time he doesn't really like it, which is a shame. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to stick with it, uh, make sure he really, really gets comfortable. Don't walk away from me while I'm talking to you. We're going to uh, stick... Basil, stop going towards your food, you're not getting fed. We're going to uh, stick with the red stage for a bit, uh, really sort of get it ingrained in him so it's like second nature, and then we will um, sort of reintroduce the orange stage again. So hopefully, um, in a couple of weeks, uh, or possibly longer, it's already been a while, but hopefully, there he goes again. Basil, it's not going to take the uh, eight weeks or less, as it claims on the box, but um, we're going to stick to it and uh, we're going to make sure he does it because um, he's done really well. He's just got to sort of find the confidence to, to carry on doing it. So hopefully there's going to be a second part to this video. So uh, check back soon and hopefully you'll be seeing lots more cat poop. What do you think, Basil? More cat poop?